Hi, now that you've decided that you want to buy a car, let's see how to evaluate buying a car loan. Let's take this example where you are interested in buying a car worth let's say 8 lakh rupees. Currently, the amount of cash that you have is 3 lakhs. So how much loan do you need? Let's negate these two values. You need a loan of 5 lakh rupees. Now currently, let's say you have all your bank accounts in a particular bank and you want to go to that bank itself for the loan. So the bank tells you that the car loan is 10.5%. Number of months. For how long do you want to take the loan? Let's take an example of 3 years, 36 months. With this data, let's calculate the EMI equal to PMT. This is the formula for calculating the EMI. First thing it is asking you for is a rate. So we take this rate of interest and divide it by 12 because we are going to make monthly EMI payments. Comma. How many number of months exactly are you going to make payments for? 36 months. Comma. What is the loan amount? 5 lakhs. Excel will give you the exact EMI per month. Now you see that this EMI is negative because this is the amount that is going to go out of your pocket every month. But visually, if you want to see a positive number, you can simply use the formula of absolute that is equal to ABS. We take this number, close the bracket and press enter. So with this calculation, we know that the outgoing EMI per month is going to be 16,251 rupees. But our budget is only 13,000 rupees. So now what do we do? We'll have to play around somewhere with increasing the tenure of the loan. Once we do that, the EMI per month will obviously go down. So this 36 will have to be increased. To what value? That is what we want to compare. Also, we can take a call whether we want to reduce the loan amount or increase the loan amount. So let's say these are the two areas that we want to compare. The loan amount versus the number of months. Once we'll make the comparison, this is how it will look like. Here is the number of months. Here is the multiple loan amounts. So we know that with a loan of 5 lakh and 48 months, we are having an EMI exactly of 12,802, which is in our budget. Similarly, we can also go for an EMI of 13,001 with 36 months and 4 lakh. So if you are okay to compromise a little on buying the car or you are able to put in more cash of 1 lakh, you can go for this option too. Or if you want to increase your loan amount and the tenure, you could also go for this option of 5 years versus 6 lakhs. So these are the three options that you have. Now you can take a much better decision. Let's see how to create this. So this is the structure to create your data table. First is the formula for output. Then there are two input ranges and then there is the output values that you will get. Let's create this first formula for output. What is the formula that we are using to get the output? The PMT formula. So I can simply say equal to this guy. So for whatever calculations, this is the formula it's going to use. Next, I'll put my first input range that is the loan amounts. So let's say I start with 3 lakhs, 3.5 lakhs, 4 lakhs, 4.5 lakhs, 5 lakhs, 5.5 lakhs, and 6 lakhs versus number of months. So let's see 36 months, 48 months or 60 months. Now let's create the comparison. So we select all this data. We go to the data tab. What if analysis data table. Now it's asking you for two things, row input cell and column input cell. For the row input cell, take the number of months. Why? 
because the number of months that you mentioned in the data table are in a single row. Similarly, for column input cell, take the loan to be taken amount. Once you're done with this, press OK. So we're done with the comparison. Now let's see which are the values closest to our budget that is 13,000. So with this, let's mark it orange, this value as well as this value. Similarly, you can create multiple tables if you also want to make a comparison of interest percentage. Thank you.